Thank you very much for making time for me. Um, uh, when I was coming here and I knew that there was this meeting, uh, this was one of the things I absolutely wanted to do. Um, and the reason is um, I've been privileged to meet with results groups from around the world, including Aaron's in the UK recently, Joanne in the US. And you're one of my favorite groups. Uh, you really are extraordinary people. Um, the volunteer work you do, the, the, the impact you have, it, it's hard to describe. I mean, it's one thing when those of us who do this for a living and get paid, although not as much as we'd like to, do uh, go and advocate. It's quite a different thing when people in the community, uh, people who the people get elected by, um, go in to see them and talk about the important work. And uh, your advocacy, uh, but also the work many of you do and the volunteer work you do is hugely impactful. And you're, very, you're a great inspiration to those of us who who actually run and do these programs because you remind us of why they're done, that it matters to people in the community, that it matters to people out there. And so uh, I wouldn't miss a results event unless I, uh, I, uh, there was something that kept me from it um, because you really are an extraordinary, extraordinary group uh, and an extraordinary group of people. And the work you've done here in Australia uh, is, is absolutely essential for the global fight. Um, you know, getting the 200 million at the time you got it for the last replenishment was uh, nothing short of a miracle. Um, it was the only organization that got a commitment at that time. Um, it's not as much as we would, any of us would have liked, but just to get a commitment uh, made a huge difference. And I know from talking to the people around the prime minister and in the government that the work you all did uh, was fundamental to that. But the next one's coming up. and. Uh, despite the environment here around development, there's huge opportunity with the Global Fund. 